it's inevitable that at some stage most fishermen are going to find themselves on a dirt road the curiosity to go and find that fishing spot where nobody else has been so what I'd like to do is give you a few tips and um, make your uh, trailering on the dirt roads a little bit more comfortable okay when driving on those dirt roads it's inevitable that you're going to come across corrugations rough potholes and dust the dust is something that just gets into everything but one thing to be concerned about is how much dust has actually gone inside that engine one simple fact that you're probably not aware of is that no marine engines have air filters to keep the dust out so when the engine runs there's nothing filtering that dust out of the air that it's breathing so it's really important that that dust isn't ingested by the engine and wearing the engine out this travel cover goes over your outboard motor and seals all the dust out so when you're traveling on the road no dust can get in it's certainly going to protect your investment when you're driving on dirt roads it's really important that you've got a good trailer and that it's well set up a couple of points to help with setting your trailer up make sure that uh, everything's adjusted right now it's quite easy that uh, bits and pieces vibrate loose over time uh, you want to make sure that all the nuts and bolts are nice and tight and that all the fixtures on the boat haven't vibrated loose and that they're doing their job one of the most important points however is to make sure your boat's strapped firmly to the trailer the trailer and the boat need to work integral as one you don't want the boat bouncing on top of the trailer and slapping causing damage to the boat and also damage to the trailer so having some good tie downs is very very important there's lots of different examples of the tie downs the one that here on this CJ is actually quite a good one where it's actually quite rigid using a turnbuckle type system So I think the most important thing with a boat and a trailer uh, is to lock that boat down onto the trailer somehow with tie downs or good straps uh, and make sure there's none of that slap between the trailer and the boat. And that's what does all the damage. Quite often you'll be driving down the highway as well. You're on the bitumen and we've had a bit of rain at times and there's a big pothole in the road and you can't avoid it. Uh, and even if you do normally travel on the bitumen, you can still get caught out. You hit a big pothole and your boat's not strapped down properly, uh, it can do a lot of damage. There's one trip in particular, I think we covered 20,000 kilometres on one trip. Um, and a lot of that was dirt and gravel roads and corrugations. And we did beach launches. And if we hadn't had the trailer set up properly on that trip, we would have struggled. 